So uh, do you want to do the time the we try to follow, fire all our customers? Yeah. Well, first of all, hold on. Why would we want to fire all our customers? So we basically won a new contract. We had a bunch of smaller customers, and, and, and a lot of them were just like a lot of work for not a lot of revenue. We had kind of priced our way into those customers just trying to get the work at the time. Yeah, trying they, to remain billable. We're that trying was, to remain billable, goal, right? trying to get, keep, keep work going, keep people employed, right? All the normal things you would have for yeah. uh, uh, some work. Mm -hmm. And a lot of our customers were kind of a small business. So anyways, we won this work that basically fully saturated all of our people. You know, we, 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 we didn't have any, you know. There's no way we could have had the amount of bandwidth to do keep doing what we were doing and take on this new work. Correct. So we, we decided, well, the easiest way for folks to opt out of our services was to tell them that, hey, uh, we had a, uh, I don't know where this ID came from. Hey, we, all of our prices went up. Right. And uh, so we raised our prices up by, we doubled our prices, I believe. And uh, we let all of our customers know that our prices were going up and we were hoping that they would just drop, right? Yeah. They would opt out. We were... Yeah passively aggressively trying to get rid of all of our customers. <laughs> and of course they all stayed. Yeah. At the new pricing. Which then we're kind of like, but we don't want <laughs> we didn't want them to stay. Right. So yeah, so we we doubled our prices. We we made these phone calls to all these people, all these like owners of businesses and we're like, I'm so sorry, but we have a new pricing structure. We're gonna have to, you know, uh it, we totally understand if you're going to drop us. And 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 every one of them stayed. Right. Now, to the normal listener that would be listening to this story, they would wonder, well, why couldn't you hire more people? I, I, I think we did, but at the time, like, I don't think we, we just didn't want the work. We were just ready to move on with our lives. I don't think we could. I think the model changed at that point once we won that new work. So really the model of the business kind of tailored away from what we were doing previously. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, if you say, that, what's the moral of the story? I mean, the moral of the story is that, obviously, we were undercharging the whole time, <laughs> right? Right. Where the point where the businesses we're working with were like, oh, you're still fine. Right. Or the fact is, the matter is, in IT services, it's better to be good than it is to be cheap, right? They're looking for competency. They're looking for just to be able to hand off all their work to people. Yeah, and I think uh, comfort has something to do with it as well there. They know us, they see us every week or every other day or something like that. And they're comfortable with us not only coming out there, but charging a higher price. Yeah. So if you're somebody who's doing IT work for folks uh, and you say, you know, oh, I feel like I need to price myself in, in competition with other people in the marketplace, we didn't find that to be true at all. Yeah. Right, we couldn't give away the work. I mean, we we couldn't get them to leave if we doubled our prices, which at the time was, well, it wasn't it wasn't cheap. It wasn't. Yeah. So that's the end of that story. <laughs>